Poison oak is a common plant here at the slough and throughout the west. With a few tips, you can learn to easily avoid this potentially dangerous plant. Poison oak is a deciduous shrub, meaning it loses its leaves in winter. It can be seen in many forms. In shady and wetter habitats, it commonly grows as a climbing vine. And in drier areas, it can be found growing as a dense thicket or even a ground cover. What causes this plant to be so toxic is the sticky, irritating oil that covers its leaves and stems. This oil is called urushiol oil. It binds to the skin and within a short amount of time can cause an itchy, irritating rash or contact dermatitis. While out hiking, it's good to remember the old adage, leaves of three, let it be. Poison oak leaves form leaflets of three. You'll notice the terminal leaf, or the one on the end, has a small stem. Covered in arushial oil, you'll notice the leaves are very shiny. You'll also notice the edges of the leaves are smooth, forming round lobes. Armed with this information, you will easily be able to identify it from our local wildberry bushes that frequently grow alongside poison oak. Notice how the stems and leaves of the berry plants are covered in spines and pointy edges. Poison oak also changes color throughout the year. In spring, the leaves have a tinge of red. As spring progresses, the leaves change to bright green and loose clusters of small greenish white flowers are produced. As summer progresses, ivory white fruits will form and in fall, the leaves will eventually turn golden, then red, and eventually fall off, leaving just the woody stems throughout winter. These unmarked stems are just as effective as the leaves for expo exposing you to the oils. To avoid contact, it's best to stay on the trails while hiking here at the reserve. We do our best to keep the trails trimmed back, but it does occur very close to the edge of the trails here. If by chance you should come in contact with poison oak, be mindful not to touch other areas of your body or others as it can spread easily. Do not try to wash it off with just water. You could end up spreading the oil instead of washing it off. Instead, we have special soap in the visitor center that is made to clean the poison oak oil from the skin thoroughly. The oil can also easily get on clothing and shoes, so it's a good idea to remove those items when you return to your car and handle them carefully before they can be washed. For more information about poison oak, you can visit our website and search for poison oak. So by staying on the trails and remembering the old adage, leaves of three, let it be, you should have a fun and safe visit here at the slough. Come see us soon.